Capricorn, this is your extended reading and welcome back and thank you for becoming a member. I hope you will enjoy the reading. Your general reading was pretty long, I'm sorry about that, but it's got a life of its own. Like I said in the beginning, a lot of the readings are taking on a life of their own. So I'm just going with the flow and that is also the a message here with the Five of Cups. Gratitude is also uh, community and gratitude is uh, the red uh, string or red line through your reading. So again, let go of the old to make room of the new. Look around you. If you look back, then you can see still see two cups standing. You've not been left out in the cold. Also, stand up, dust yourself off and start changing the present and the future. You can't change anything from the past. Don't have any regrets. Learn from the past so that you won't fall into the same um, situation again in the future. You've got celebrations coming in and he's been popping out like mad this week. The Three of Cups. There will be reunion with family and friends and celebrations. Wow, that is beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Especially with the chariot. Perhaps you will be. You are the victor with um, the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Some of you could be celebrating an engagement or a marriage. And here you are. You've got the justice of the peace. The emperor can be a justice of the peace, but the emperor can also be the high priest. He's the highest ranked person in um, the uh, tarot as um, he is higher than the kings. So this could be an, a professional advisor, but this could also be a mature person that you seek advice from like a father figure or an uncle or somebody mature that you trust and respect if it isn't a professional. This could be a doctor, this could be a lawyer, this could be the bookkeeper. As it is the end of the year, you might be wanting to start doing the books, especially if you have your own business. Number four, you've got three, four, five, you're going up, up, up. Good on you, you've got two fives. Okay, the five of pentacles and the five of cups. So definitely, if you're looking back and you're crying over spilled milk, you won't be able to see the good things coming in because there is momentum here to celebrate with the Wheel of Fortune turning into you, in your advantage and the card, the champion, the winner uh, of all as well. Okay, so that is the Emperor. So let's have a look. You, let's have a look. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Again, the Queen of Pentacles is coming out, confirming the other Queen of Pentacles in your general reading. Definitely um, something new is going to begin and something that will bring in big return. Okay. Again, you could be dealing prominently with a Virgo, but it can be an other Capricorn or a Taurus. She's got the green touch, the green fingers, so whatever she touches will turn to fruition, to harvest. Look at the abundance coming in. So abundance is coming in for you. She's got a little Bambi on her lap. And there's a little bear here and all the beautiful flowers. So, and dream catchers. You might get a dream catcher for Christmas. Who knows? It just jumps out at me. Also, we have the Prince of Wands, that is Sagittarius, the Prince of Wands, that's the Page of Wands, so that represents uh, Sagittarius prominently, but again, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo. This could, if it isn't a person, then it could be Sagittarian time. We are leaving Sagittarius this week, so again, we are going into Capricorn. So for any of the Capricorns, happy birthday. Now, 
also this could be news about a job this could be news about passion this could be with a person but this can also be a new hobby this hobby could actually if i look at the reading this hobby could be a sideline this could be your hobby turning into career that will bring in big returns but you might have to get some legal advice or some judicial or official advice on how to turn a hobby into a career. This could be a career officer. This could be a professor or a teacher. This could be a notary public or a lawyer uh, for licenses, things like that. So definitely be careful how you start. Seek advice if you don't know. You don't want to be left down and out like the five of pentacles this is the message stand up for yourself change the present learn from the past so that you will have a better future you make your own luck remember that okay so break free dare to break free and come out and be the beacon then you will also draw attention this means that is good that will it will be good for business if you put yourself out there then people will start demanding your attention be selflessness okay humility and be humble and be conscious and in your actions remember also respect other people's customs or cultures or faiths we are all wanting the same thing we believe the same thing. If you believe in the divine, it doesn't matter what name you give him, he is there. He will protect you and guide you with um, signs. You could even find a penny and that would be a sign of the angels or the divine. But there is definitely major um, reason to celebrate this coming week. Have a lovely week and a lovely Christmas. And if it is your birthday, happy birthday. Take care. Bye-bye.